lot of my work is quite autobiographical uh, in, a, in a way and this also is, 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 uh, relates to my uh, previous separation and this is uh, particularly in this case and, uh, two very close friends of mine were separating and they both were having a pet dog they both were wanting them so it's become how when we are emotionally engaged how unreasonable we become uh, that we cannot see uh, the, the uh, beyond our you know uh, uh, reasoning and understanding so and, and I think it was a very very sort of um, uh, emotionally and intellectually engaging um, uh, kind of um, composition yeah I grew up in a remote village in Western India uh, my parents were illiterate they couldn't read or write none of my brothers or sister either but I sort of left home when I was 14, came to Mumbai, found uh, uh, high school. I educated myself in, and then I went to art school. So I taught in, in Mumbai in art school. Most of my work is, is uh, really on this line uh, uh, because I have um, worked mainly in watercolor for the last 30 years. I used to work large scale like 12 feet by 6 feet oil on canvas. Uh, it's a long story, but uh, when, when I came back from India, uh, I had no space, so I reduced 12 inches, 6 inches, and experimented watercolor. And having traveled to Europe and America, that watercolor really did not change historically. So I started working and experimenting. I made a lot of mistakes, and out of this mistake, I really developed this way of working, which gave me tremendous depth of color and surface, which normally is not associated with watercolor. I mean, people don't believe it's watercolor. They think it's a gouache or a clay. Or, and it's a wonderful to see that depth in watercolor, which is not associated. Whether, you know, you win or not, it's just to be part of this um, exhibition. It's, it's a highly prestigious in that sense. I'm, I'm really delighted to be part of it.